Nah, he's not that big. I'll bolt flip him. Oof. Pretty though. Absolutely gorgeous fish. Okay, here's something you don't see me do very often, but obviously it caught the eye of a company by the name of Sportlink. Sportlink provides iPhone covers, waterproof covers, not just water resistant. And uh, obviously they were watching this video and saw what I was doing with my phone there and they said, hey, you might not want to do that. We have a solution for you. Would you like to try it? I said, of course. So this episode is going to be all about the Sportlink waterproof case for the iPhone. And I got to tell you, it's absolutely incredible. So if you want to take underwater shots, you don't need a GoPro. You can use your iPhone. And I'm going to show you how right here on Live to Fish. All right, welcome back to Live to Fish, and we're going to go over this. It is for the iPhone 11. Again, I don't have the latest and greatest model because I am a struggling YouTube content creator. Now, again, this is from the company called Sportlink. Sportlink is available on Amazon, and I'm going to leave a link to all the products down in the video description below. So let's get this thing opened up here, and we're going to take a look and see exactly what comes in the package. All right, let's go ahead and get the uh, case out of the clamshell here. And on the front side of the case, there is a warning on it, and it states that before you install the waterproof case, make sure that you have any iPhone screen protectors removed. This is its own screen protector. It won't work if you have two layers of screen protection. There's the cleaning cloth, the wrist strap, here's the instructions, and here's the uh, opener. Once you get it sealed, you want that key to unlock it or pry it back open so that you don't crack the case. Now the instructions are pretty detailed, um, but again, get it right the first time. It says they're in big, bold letters. You definitely want to make sure that you have the screen protector off your current phone if you have one installed, and make sure that you use the cleaning kit that comes with the phone case to make sure that your iPhone is clean of all debris. Now let's dive right into the installation. Here's the front part of the case and here's the back part of the case. Again the front has this uh, little blue film on top of it with that warning notice about taking off the uh, screen protection. Uh, but this is not a screen cover by any means it's just more or less just dust protection and keeps that uh, that cover clean before you do the installation. Now speaking of clean here is the uh, outer box of my current iPhone being taken off and uh, whoa Definitely not as dirty as I thought it was going to be, but uh, look at the condition of my iPhone. You can see all these stress cracks in it. Uh, the day that I got it, I dropped it as soon as I got it out of the box. So I went on Amazon and ordered an outer box case uh, to protect it from any further damage. Definitely a good investment, but uh, a day late and a dollar short. All right, we're going to grab the cleaning cloth here, and this is a standard cloth. Very much what you'd find uh, with any pair of eyeglass purchase or new sunglasses. Just kind of a chamois cloth and uh, cleaning off the iPhone here, making sure there's no debris. Um, not making it spotless by any means. I just want to make sure there's no grit or grime when I put this thing together. And again, I was pretty surprised at the outer box, how clean it kept my phone, and uh, definitely impressed with it. So we're going to go ahead and put this into the front of the case. Now again, it says that you have to line up the volume switch or what it would be like the mute toggle um, along the lines of that button that controls that and also make sure that the uh, charging port cover is open when you put this together. And again, it's going to give you another little warning here to make sure that you have that charging port, that rubber seal, that rubber gasket, make sure you have that open when you're putting this together. You want a tight fit, but you don't want that gasket on until the last minute. So basically, you just go along the edge here. You're just snapping it in place, and it uh, it's going to be a firm snap. There's going to be no mistake when you get this thing sealed. All right, just a few touch-ups. Just clean it up just a little bit, and we're going to get out in the field and test it in real time. Let's go. And here you can see out on the bank doing some casting. I got it hooked up with that magnetic belt clip, which works absolutely awesome, by the way. Now, there is one thing, one caveat I want to tell you about the belt clip. There's a little button to release the magnet, so it releases the phone from the belt clip. And that's something that uh, I'm going to touch on here. You might want to check and double check before you set the positioning on that. It's got one of them 3M stickies, and once that thing is stuck to the case, it is sealed for good. So make sure you do your homework and make sure you want that button in the right position. For me, it was to the reverse or to the back of the phone, and it was on my weak side. And I'm going to get to that explanation as to why I chose that in just a minute. All right, here I'm pressing the magnetic release to get the phone off of the belt clip and making sure I put that wrist strap on. 
And the reason being is because, no, I don't want to drop it in the water, and not because the case is waterproof, it's because I want to control drop. Here I'm going to drop it in the water and show you that you can get film footage in the water without damaging the phone. Again, this is waterproof, not water resistant. So I'm going to pull it back out, and everything's good. It ain't much, but we're going to do an underwater release with this guy. Here we go. All right, one recommendation I'm going to give you here for the belt clip, make sure that you put it on your weak side if you have a carry concealed. It'll make things a lot safer for you. Now, if you research waterproof cases for your phone online, you're going to get some sticker shock. You're going to see prices in excess of $50. However, the Sportlink model, this one only runs about $18. That's right, less than $20 on Amazon. And if you have Prime, you're going to get the shipping for free. Now, the belt clip, that runs another $12. So overall, you're getting a phone case that's waterproof, not water resistant, and a belt clip for under 40 bucks shipped. That's incredible. So if you want to protect your phone when you're out there fishing, out there on the water, out there in the boat, out there on the yak, then you definitely want to look at this Sportlink waterproof case. Again, coming in at under $20, it's an absolute steal. And keep in mind, if you're a content creator and you want to do some underwater shots, you won't need to invest in a GoPro or another camera. You can use your phone underwater with the Sportlink waterproof case. Again, I'm going to leave links to all the products down in the video description below. So until next time, be safe, be well, and as always, live to fish. Take care, everybody.